Hi YouTube, we're here with the bird of time again. As you may have noticed from my videos, I put in a bigger ESC, throttle cuts on and tested by the way. We have an input hole here for air and an output here, hole here for air. And it's now back here, it's 50 amps. We're just gonna check the CG real quick. I believe that's the CG mark. I think we're gonna be real close. The only problem is I think I might have got my my servo not exactly perfectly lined up for that. So we'll find out on that in a minute here. Spoil runs. Spoil. Okay. All right, throttle cuts off. Full throttle braking. Okay, here we go. That's 50% throttle, guys. Out of the throttle there. Beautiful. I'm gonna go up over the sun here, hopefully. Can we see that bird up there? He's normal. Yeah, what do you think, Grandma? You see that thermal? See the spoiler come out, Grandpa? Here's the full throttle. There's full throttle. Out of the full throttle. Wow, look at that. Wow. It's got some power. That's a 12-8 prop, folding prop, by Master Air Screw. That's being turned on an 810 kV. It's a bird of time. Sorry. Oh, she was looking at the actual bird. <laughs> okay. Okay, full throttle. Good elevator authority, guys, as you can see. Right out of a stall here, we'll show you the stall characteristics. And yes, she will fly upside down. She screams a lot too. I love the noise it makes. Watch the spoilers. There's full deployment there. Okay, into the paddle. Rudder. Okay, about 20% throttle there. I'm going to try to keep it under the sun here. Coming in. There we go. There we go. Getting up there to altitude. Okay, cutting the throttle. Show you a nice little pseudo aileron roll using the combination of elevator, rudder, and spoilers, you can roll the plane, but you couldn't do that before. You would roll it just with the rudder. You basically induce a roll using just the rudder. That's rudder. It works pretty good with the polyhedral wing. Goodness gracious, what is going on up there? Yeah, what is that? That's the bearing on the Oh. What do you think of that dinky one? But the thing that's nice is, guys, when I want to bring this thing down, no spoilers right now. Here we go, full blown spoilers. Watch this. She sinks like crazy. Keep 
one eye closed when you go through the sun. Open it back up and switch the eyes when you come out of the sun. Going into the wind here. How do you These do that? The spoilers. If you, huh? How do you do that if you can only close one eye? I don't know. <laughs> Guess you're out of luck. Okay, that's all under power there. Snap roll. Uh -oh. loop. Not enough speed to carry into an upside down flight. I was going to try to do that for you guys. Need a little bit of wind to kind of help with the upside down flight. Seems to be really doing well with this bigger Yassi. Mm -hmm. Does it seem noisier than you than usual? Like the passes? Or is it just because you haven't, well, you haven't seen it much? Yeah. Out. I love that noise. Grandpa, what do you think of that noise? Can you hear it? When it goes by quick? Huh? No. The noise of the bird. The bird of time. Listen. You can't hear that? Oh, yeah. You gotta say, that's like my favorite part of these gliders. Coming right overhead, Grandma. Did I tell you we went over to DMAC? Huh? You wanna build a bigger one, Grandpa? Okay. I'll fly it. This one's 117 inches, so. Well, <laughs> you can build me a six meter, do an ASW 28. How about that? You guys want to the car coming behind you. I just give these to the kids. That's fine. Okay. Hi there. Oops. Yeah. This you can buy right now from a place called TowerHobbies.com, 117 inch. Is this is the kit version? You can buy them ARP as well. But this one, the kit's a little bigger, I think, by a few inches. And I added some spoiler on. And then I also added a motor, of course. That thing moves. It can. <laughs> it's awesome. I love flying it. My grandpa built it, and then I just added some control surfaces. Wow. Cool, man. Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Do those people live here? Uh, they don't look like they're ever I, retired. You were attacking me though for a minute. No! <laughs> not yet. Not yet. That's, that's planned for later. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a white tail light, and there's navigation lights on the wing tips. I think that's one of our new neighbors. Oh, really? In the, in the darker car or the red car? The one the red car. Do you see that thermal I just hit? Or some wind. I don't know which one. But what do you think, Grandpa? Was it worth it now? Oh, yeah. It laid on my shelf for a long time. It, it laid in my attic for a long time. <laughs> I was about to buy this kit, and then I, I said, wait. Hold on a second. I've got that thing. Well, the guy that put it together was really good. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to build it. I was wondering if it was mine. Oh yeah, still fly good. Yeah. Pick up my 
Okay. Well, guys, so far so good. Uh, motor's nice and cool. I wasn't paying attention to the timer because I was talking to the neighbors. But uh, everything's nice. You got lots more room in here for the battery to breathe, which is good. Um, and then the electronic speed control sits back here, so there's a build video. It's warm, but it's not hot. And I can't quite get my finger in there to test the temperature of the ESC. But when I pull off the wing, I'll check and let you know someday. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to do some more flying now.